Amos chapter 9 is a very simple chapter in this prophetic book. It's very intentional in its purpose, and it's very easy to understand. First of all, it's a vision given to the prophet Amos of the Lord standing by the altar in the temple. And the Lord communicates two things. First, Israel will be destroyed, period. The details are found in verses 1 through 10. Then Israel will be restored, verses 11 through 15. And the restoration is no less intense, no less complete than the destruction. So first, the destruction of Israel. The Lord says this, strike the tops of the temple columns so that the foundation will be shaken. Bring down the roof on the heads of the people below. I will kill with the sword those who survive. No one will escape. Even if they dig down to the place of the dead, I will reach down and pull them up. Even if they climb up into the heavens, I will bring them down. Even if they hide at the very top of Mount Carmel, I will search them out and capture them. Even if they hide at the bottom of the ocean, I will send a sea serpent after them to bite them. The destruction will be complete and total. No one will escape. Then the restoration. In that day, the Lord said, I will restore the fallen house of David. I will repair its damaged walls. From the ruins, I will rebuild it, and I'll restore its former glory. And Israel will possess what is left of Edom and all the nations I have called to be mine. The Lord has spoken, and he will do these things. So the restoration of the nation of Israel will be just as complete as the destruction was. And why is that important to you and I today? Well, since the Garden of Eden, God has been moving toward a goal, the New Jerusalem. It will not be until the arrival of the New Jerusalem and the New Earth that pain and sorrow will be finally vanquished. So the pain and hurt associated with destruction is always followed by the joy and fulfillment of restoration. There's always a purpose in the pit. But until that time comes, we have the great privilege of being ambassadors for Christ, faithfully representing Him to a dying world. So as you process and read Amos chapter 9 today, Remember that you're an ambassador of the one who will reconcile all things to himself.